starting thing. We are live. How you guys doing? It's Bruce here, traveling with Bruce. Welcome to Tuesday night live trivia here on traveling with Bruce. How are you guys doing? Did you get enough rest between shows? So I had a busy one earlier today. The five o'clock show, lots going on, but now we're here for trivia on a Tuesday night. Fantastic! Looking forward to uh, trying to stump you guys with a couple of these questions. Uh, of course, I'll always help you if you need it. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, the connection the connection will work out. Looks like so far it's pretty good. Uh, I'm kind of happy with how the picture is looking. Uh, yeah, so far so good. Hope you're having a good one, folks. Um, lots happening today here on good old Tuesday, man. Oh man, the uh, Carnival uh, cruise ship, the Horizon. We're following that story. We're going to see how that sort of progresses as, as time goes on. Engine trouble in uh, in Amber Cove, apparently. Uh, they were having trouble maneuvering the ship. They are, there are no tugboats there. So they, uh, I guess they, they couldn't uh, get the ship to work properly with the azipods, and they decided to uh, not even bother to stop. And uh, they, they then did, quick, did a quick analysis, and uh, uh, I guess their onboard computers uh, were telling them the engineering department is probably talking up to the bridge going, we got a problem with this azipod. We might have to shut her down. We may not be running on an azipod at all. And uh, that means uh, down to half power uh, as far as propulsion goes. Or so, again, I'm, I'm not an expert in this, uh, in this field. I don't know how many there, azipods there are. I don't know how many uh, you know, direct drive shaft propellers they have. In any event, I guess the uh, protocol is uh, when in trouble, contact home office. And uh, home office uh, basically said, uh, well, number one priority is you have 4,000 guests, practically just under 4,000 guests on this ship. And the first thing we have to do is that this ship was supposed to stop in Amber Cove, the last stop on our tour here, eight day cruise was the last stop. We have two days to get back, get back now, head back to New York now under the power you have uh, pending further instructions. And I guess uh, shortly thereafter, uh, they were told uh, divert a little over to the uh, east you're going to pass a Grand Turk in Turks and Caicos. We're flying a technician down who's going to check out the ship because the technician was obviously talking to the head of engineering. Um, you know, they, they're, they're on it. I mean, it's just 24-7 communication back and forth. The manufacturer of the engine is involved. Believe me, there are all kinds of people involved in this emergency. What is wrong with this Azipod? And uh, they flew somebody to Grand Turk. By the time the ship got to Grand Turk, uh, later that night or the next morning, um, that individual was waiting uh, and he was brought out to the moving cruise ship just out of the harbor on the pilot boat that uh, the harbor pilot uses. And uh, I guess the ship was going at about five or six knots and up comes the harbor boat and uh, he jumped from the one ship right onto the other boat, the big boat. And now we, they have a technician on board the cruise ship. Now, they're still making their way to New York. They have a head start on their schedule because they uh, basically left Amber Cove in the morning rather than late in the day towards the evening to make their way to New York. So they had a, probably a nine hour movement to head start to get going. But as each day and each hour goes by, uh, they are not uh, going as fast as they would normally be going. And so um, they're kind of hoping to get to New York on the day they're supposed to. I don't know what the timing will be. I haven't heard anything new. Uh, we'll probably lo learn more over the evening and maybe into tomorrow. Uh, what will happen? Will the uh, Horizon arrive in New York on time? Will the Horizon have resolved the issue? Is it a software issue? Is it a is it a computer uh, software, you know, left brain, right brain, not talking to each other issue? Don't know. Is it mechanical? Uh, is there a mechanical issue with the Hazapod? Can it be repaired at New York uh, for the uh, the time that they're stopping over? Or uh, the next cruise is a four-day cruise to the Bahamas, I bear, apparently. Um, not the Bahamas, Bermuda. I think, I'm not sure. In any event, can they get it in there for a quick look uh, while the tourists are on the shore? I, I, I don't think so. I think uh, if they have to take this thing to dry dock, they have to cancel a cruise. And uh, if they have to cancel the coming, the upcoming cruise and sail the ship at half power to the uh, Bermuda to dry dock there, uh, even they, even if they can do that, uh, can they get the Azipod repaired in the time that it takes one cruise to go by? The next cruise is only four days. They might have to cram They have to maybe cancel two, uh, the four day plus a day, maybe a seven day behind it. Um, that's uh, you know serious money being lost because a whole bunch of refunds and rebookings have to be made. Uh, but if the ship is in need of repair, it's in need of repair. I mean that's just the way it is. If it's, an, if it's a warranty thing, if it's a you know, if it's a mechanical thing that the manufacturer may have had a defect, it's, uh, you know, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. 
But anyway, we'll find out. Uh, that That's one story we follow today. The second story is this bridge collapse in Genoa. Terrible. Uh, early reports were that they thought as many as 35 people had been killed. Story now is something like 22 or 25 with injuries. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully it won't go any worse than that. But what a tragic story. Uh, infrastructure, it's everywhere. And we have to get, uh, we have to stay on top of infrastructure. Anyway, those of you who are joining me for trivia tonight, welcome to the show. I'm glad you're here. Uh, traveling with Bruce here, wearing Bruce merchandise, uh, Redbubble merch. Uh, someone made an order today for some Redbubble merchandise. Thank you very much for helping support my channel by hitting the little Redbubble icon on my homepage up here or hitting the link down below. Also, thank you to those who are using the Amazon link that I have for my affiliate link page. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. And, of course, thank you for any, any and all of you who are making direct donations to this channel through my PayPal link up here on my homepage. The donate button, uh, some of you are frequent uh, donators to my cause, and I cannot thank you enough for that. It just means so much to us. Jennifer and I, uh, uh, we count every penny <laughs> all the time. Thank you very much for uh, for helping keeping us on the air, and I really appreciate it. Let me bring in this uh, computer a little bit so I can get a little closer in. Say hi to who's here. Let's play some trivia. I've got some trivia questions ready to go for you guys. And Jordan, trivia go. Hey, Bruce and Ann. Uh, Bruce and all. Peter Heckema is here. Uh, we are ready to go. A Tuesday night trivia. Thank you, Peter, today for your contribution to my channel. And Jordan, as always, Peter. Um, uh, Peter is uh, saying right on. I'm ready. Uh, Tracy Dunlop. Hi, Bruce and all. Dogs are walked. They're fed. So I'm all ready for trivia. Good show earlier, Bruce. As usual, you bring things up that are so interesting, like the second quarter reports. Yeah, the numbers. Uh, boy, I'll tell you, those are always interesting. Uh, Tracy Dunlop, hi, Ann. Cat is here. Hi, Cat. Robert Brandt. I'm awake, I think. Hey, Robert, I know it's getting late for you. Uh, five o'clock here. Uh, eight o'clock Eastern. Uh, oh, my goodness. Is it three, four in the morning where you are? Oh, my goodness. Robert, unbelievable. And Jordan, I see you, Tracy. Hey, uh, hey, hey, yeah, Tracy. Hey, yeah, Kate or Cat. Blaine 2007. Hi, Bruce and all. I'm looking forward to trivia. I'm glad to be back live. Uh, we're glad to have you, Blaine. Welcome back, buddy. And Jordan, uh, hey, yeah, Blaine. Uh, we missed you. And Jordan, morning, Robert. Um, Tracy Dunlop, uh, I take it uh, I think you've had cups of coffee already, and I uh, hope you had a great day. Blaine, thanks. Uh, my father-in-law passed, and funeral was, was this past Thursday. The last couple of weeks have been busy, and they're tough. Robert uh, Brandt uh, at Ann Jordan uh, took a little power nap, and I think I'll make it through trivia right on. <laughs> <laughs> right on, Robert. Peter Heckema, hey, Tracy, and Jordan, awesome, Robert. Uh, Peter Heckema saying, Bru Robert, you must be ready to go now. Uh, uh, Debbie Manuel, hi, everyone, ready to play. Yes, uh, Debbie, how are you? Blaine, ready to play. Tokyo, he's saying, the answer is Tokyo. And Jordan, Tokyo, Debbie in the house, easy as always. Hope you're hope you're feeling better, Debbie. And uh, Debbie's going, awesome, I'm ready. Robert Brandt, uh, I'm going to try my best to put my earbuds in so I don't bother my wife. I want to keep her quietly. Don't say anything. Just you know, don't don't wake her up. Uh, Debbie Manuel, thanks, Ann. Uh, feeling feverish, but I'm uh, I'm I'm still upright, so <laughs> all is good. Right on, Debbie. Hang in there. Um, and uh, Ann Jordan's saying, going awesome, Robert, with those headphones. Uh, Tracy, so sorry, Blaine. I know how that goes. My father-in-law passed three weeks ago this Thursday, and still busy. Thoughts and prayers to you and your family. Robert Brandt uh, would be my response to everything. I suspect. Uh, Blaine, uh, same to you, Tracy. He passed on August the second. And Jordan, Blaine, uh, uh, so sorry to hear about uh, about that. Uh, uh, prayers to all. Um, uh, Debbie Manuel, passing on prayers to you too. Everyone is uh, saying hi to everybody else here. Let me just get right up to current messages. Uh, Brittany, I was the first person in for trivia to make sure I would not miss anything. I came in right after the last one ended. How about that, uh, Cat? I wonder why Carnival is having such trouble with engines and batteries. Uh, you know, I do not know new technology. These are brand new designs. Every new sh every ship that comes off a cruise yard, almost every ship is kind of like a new version of a ship. Now, of course, in the case of this one, uh, the Horizon, it's the third version of the Vista class. But uh, they've only made two of them so far. This is the third one. So, uh, you know, they haven't made 100 engines like this before They for this particular weight of ship, design of ship. I don't know. Is the design wrong? Is is the engineering wrong? Uh, one, you know, one misplaced wire. Uh, is software acting up? I, I don't know. Well, they'll figure it out. Believe me. Um, Brittany's saying it's 91 degrees currently. The high was 97. It's been cloudy and raining today. Uh, uh, th that's in Baton Rouge. Uh, Brittany Lockwood in, in uh, Theodore, Theodore, 
It's uh, Thero. It's uh, where are we here? It's 82 and a high is 93. Cool Jazz. Nova Scotia is my final answer. <laughs> Welcome to Cool Jazz. Brittany Locke with the highs expect to be 88. And see you, uh, Thero Do uh, starting on Thursday, and I'm not sure when it uh, ends the high for tomorrow. And Thero will be 90. Uh, Nina Frank from Sweden. Hi, Nina. Uh, Debbie Manuel saying hi, Nina. Uh, <laughs> and Jordan saying hi, Nina. How are you? But her typing is a little off and. Uh, the uh, computer uh, uh, kind of sheltered the message, but I'm letting it through. Uh, she's saying, how are you? What is, who are you? <laughs> I think she's saying, how are you? It's all good. New, okay, cool, Jess. Uh, just, re just read Norwegian Cru uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. Just read R Royal Caribbean has banned all emotional support animals from all their ships. I, I, I was going to bring this up. I, thank you for this. Uh, I read this too. And uh, thank God it doesn't affect me because my emotional animal is a shark. And I don't have to bring the shark on board. It just hangs around the ship, you see. So I send my ship, my, my shark from, from Seattle, and I tell it, look, I'm going to be on a cruise in Miami in like two months. So head on down there and, uh, you know, be my emotional support animal. And sure enough, I get down to Miami, and sure enough, my shark is circling around the ship, waiting for me to greet me. And it, would, it really would love me to jump in and join it, but I just, I just don't find the seawater to my liking. I like the pool water. But, yes, my emotional support animal is a shark. And there's plenty of them around my ship. Wherever I go, it's all good. There's no problem. Oh, my goodness. Emotional support animals. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Okay. And Jordan. Uh, hey, Nina. Sorry. Damn typo. How are you? <laughs> Tom Henry. Hi, everyone. Bruce, can you stop stalling now? Filet and lobster. Uh, Robert Brandt. Mm, Debbie Manuel. Thomas, how was the lobster? Cat Rose. Hi, Sharky. <laughs> uh, emotional support animals. All right. <laughs> <coughs> let's play trivia. We got 23 of you here. Let's get right into it. Um, I've got a number of quizzes, but I got a couple of quickies for you, a couple of top 10 quickies. And I thought we'd start off with a 10, a top 10 quick one. And uh, we'll we'll scatter these in with the uh, with the regular questions tonight. So tell me right now, tell me right now, folks, here we go. Uh, tell me uh, what countries in the world uh, grow the most pepper? Yeah, pepper. What countries in the world produce the most pepper? Let's start with that one and see how this is going. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, people still saying hi to each other, and uh, Brittany can't bring her dog to the university. No, can't do it. Sorry, Brittany, no can do. She's going, how about the Vatican? Do they produce pepper? Sorry, no can't. No can do. Brittany Lockwood, how about the USA for pepper production? Yeah, the United States, fifth largest in the world, producing pepper. Peter Heckema of uh, France. Uh, he's guessing France, not on the top ten. Uh, Spain from Ann Jordan. Uh, Spain, number six. Um, Iran. Tracy Dunlop is thinking Iran for pepper. Nope, not in the top ten. Uh, we've got Robert Brandt going Indonesia for pepper. Yes, number four in the world. Sri Lanka. Cheryl Nemo is here. Hi, Cheryl. Sri Lanka is her guest. Not on the list for pepper. Not in the top ten. Ann Jordan thinking the United Kingdom, UK. Nope, not producing pepper in the UK in the top ten. Blaine, Chile. What about Chile? No, nope, Chile is not uh, not in the top 10 either. Madagascar, Cat Rose wondering about Madagascar. Now, why would you think Madagascar? That's a very interesting guess. It's not on the top 10. Tracy had France. Um, France, we've done already, not in the top 10. India, Blaine wondering about India, not in the top 10. Uh, same with Wes. Uh, Canada and Jordan. Is Canada a pepper producer, Bruce? Top 10 in the world? Nope, not uh, Canada. How about uh, Paul Wuggis' guess? Mexico, number two in the world. Mexico pepper, number two producer. Cool jazz. Good morning, and Jordan. How are you? How is coffee? Uh, Nina Frank, Mexico. We just did it. Costa Rica. Tom Henry thinking Tom. I uh, think uh, Costa Rica. No sir, not in the top ten. Uh, Debbie Manuel, huh? Pepper, like like black pepper. Yeah, like pepper. Yeah, just like pepper. Uh, Tracy Dunlop, Peru. What about Peru? Now, of course, black pepper comes from peppers. I'm sure, but uh, whatever the ingredients are, I don't care. Uh, pepper is the question. Uh, Brittany Lockwood. Brazil, what about that? Nope, not Brazil. Uh, India, no, nope. Turkey, another guess. Yeah, number three in the world is Turkey. We've got Mexico, Turkey, Indonesia, USA, Spain. That's two, three, four, five, six. Who's number one for producing pepper in the world? Uh, China, Brittany Lockwood is thinking. You're right, China it is. Is China's number one. <clears throat> I got four left. <clears throat> I got four countries left to go. Uh, Russia from Tracy Dunlop, uh, nope. Uh, Grenada, Colombia, Mexico, Mexico. Grenada, Colombia, Mexico, Mexico. Nope, neither of those, folks. Uh, Chile, China, the Philippines. Uh, no, no, no. India, Vietnam, Turkey. India, Vietnam, Turkey. Nope. Um, let's see. Thailand, China, Thailand. No, China, we've got. 
Italy, Australia, no and no. Jamaica, no. Peppercorns uh, in Louisiana, we love our spicy food. Brazil and Japan, neither of those are in there. I'm looking for um, three countries in Africa. And I'm looking for one country out of Europe, but I have a feeling that they are ranked because of a territory they own likely in Africa. But anyway, I'm looking for African countries to finish, finish off this list with one European country. Let's see what we got coming in here. Brazil, Japan, Hungary, South Africa, Saudi Arabia, Egypt. Uh, Egypt is number seven. Very good. Uh, uh, let's see here. Ghana, South Africa, not Ghana, not South Africa. Uh, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Ghana, South Africa, Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria is number eight. I'm looking for two more. Uh, South Africa, Morocco, Sudan, Syria, Kenya. No, no, no. One African country, one European country. Ethiopia, no, not Ethiopia. Uh, starts with the letter A, ends in the letter A. That's the African country. Uh, the New Year European country starts with the letter N, like Norman. And here we go, Kenya, Ethiopia, Liberia. I'm waiting for an African country starting and ending in the letter A, and a European country in, starting with the letter N. And we've got this one licked. We have Sri Kankita, no, uh, Madagascar, Angola, not Angola. Uh, the other one, <laughs> not Angola, Algeria. There it is. It's Algeria. Okay, what's the country in Europe? Starts with the letter N, like Norman. Uh, what country in Europe starts with the letter N that I'm looking for? And we've got it. We have China, Mexico, Turkey, Indonesia, USA, Spain, Egypt, Nigeria. The one I'm looking for and Algeria. All the Algerias are just coming in like crazy right now. Everyone, not Algeria. What is the European country starting with letter N? It's not Norway. There's the other one. There's another one. Uh, it's not Malta. That's an M. That's not an M that I'm looking for. Netherlands. There it is. It's the Netherlands. Now, I'm not sure why the Netherlands is a number nine producer of pepper in the world, other than I have to think that perhaps there's a territory that the Netherlands is involved with somewhere in Asia, Africa, that produces the pepper. And uh, that's why it gets credited for it, because that's the mother country. I don't know. Just a, a just a guessing. Okay, uh, let's uh, play another one. Uh, we got the first quiz done. Well done, you guys. You're doing great. Um, uh, let's have some fun with this one. Um, all right, this is a big one. This this is a biggie. Uh, this took me a while to put this together, but it's, it was fun. Uh, I love stuff like this. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, I want you to tell me the U.S. cities, okay, U.S. cities that have been um, ranked um, in the top 100 for population in the United States in the annual census the most times. All right. So think about a city in the United States that is a big city and has been a top 100 city for as many censuses as possible. <laughs> a census is conducted every 10 years in the United States. Um, the first one was in 18, uh, what was it? 18, uh, 1790. The first census was 1790. And the latest was 2010. So there are 23 cents size. <laughs> 23 censuses, um, but I'm looking for cities, 15 censuses or more that they've been ranked in consecutively. Ah, consecutively. Um, you just have to give me city names. I'll tell you how many times they've been ranked. I'll tell you how big they ever got in the USA ever. And the guesses have already flying in here. So let me start to catch up with everybody. Uh, Robert Brandt, uh, New York City, right? Well, there you go. Right, number one right there. New York City. The city of New York has ranked in the top 123 times every census ever taken from 1790 to 2010. And the biggest number it ever reached in population was number one. And that's where it is right now. Of course, New York, number one city in the United States for population. That's how this one works. All right, let's get everybody else. Brittany Lockwood, Boston. It's been around a while. That's right. It has been around a while. Boston, 23 times, just like New York. It once was the third largest city in the United States. One time was third. It's not third now, but it's still up there. Uh, Robert Brent, Los Angeles. Surprise, LA is not on the list. Los Angeles has not been in 15 consecutive censuses as a top 100 city. 
it's going to be as the decades go by, of course. But right now, in this quiz, LA doesn't even show on this uh, on this uh, chart. That is fascinating. I saw that. I could not believe my jaw dropped. I thought, oh, I gotta, I gotta put this one on. This is gonna be great. Debbie had to Los Angeles as well. Tom Henry, Richmond, Virginia. Bruce, Richmond's been around a while. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Richmond. Hey. Eh? Well, let me tell you, Richmond, Virginia. Uh, let me take a look here. Um, where would it be? Is is it here at all? Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, Richmond, Virginia. Twenty-two censuses. Richmond has been in. Um, it started in 1790, being in the census, and ended its run in 2000. It missed the top 100 in 2010. The streak is over for Richmond. They start at zero now. They have to start at number one in 2020. That's assuming they get back into the top 100. Richmond, <clears throat> at one time, was the 12th largest city in the United States of America. Richmond, Virginia. 22 times. Very good guess, Tom. I love it. Uh, Peter Heckema, Chicago. The city of Chicago. Uh, Chicago has been in 18 censuses from 1840 until 2010. So for the first 50 years of census taking, Chicago was not a top 100 city. But after 1840, yep, 1840 and beyond, it was. Number two is the highest rank the city has ever had, which I believe is right now. Uh, it's number three behind L.A. or number two ahead of L.A. It's right up there right now. Number two. All right, that's Chicago. L.A. Paul Wilgus didn't make the cut. Robert Brandt, Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Am I surprised Robert Brandt is picking Philadelphia? It shouldn't be. He's from there. Uh, Philadelphia, my friend. Yes, sir. Uh, Philadelphia, 23 times in the census from 1790 to 2010, reached number two in the largest city in America during that time frame. Always behind New York and population. But yes, sir, one of the originals. Brittany had LA, didn't make it. Robert Boston, we tried it. Tracy, New York, we did it. Cat was Chicago. We just did Chicago. Debbie Emanuel, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Where does it rank? Uh, does it rank? It does rank. Uh, Atlanta, Georgia, 16 times has been in the census as a top 100 city, starting in 1860. It was a top 100 city after, uh, uh, as of 1860 until now, once reaching 24th largest city in the United States. I don't think this is the metropolitan area. I think it's a city proper. But uh, if you take metropolitan Atlanta against all other metropolitans, I think Atlanta is higher than 24 right now. But as a city, it reached 24th. Very interesting. Uh, Robert Brandt, Chicago, we've got it. Peter, uh, Ekema, Philly, we got it. Brittany Luck with Las Vegas. The city of Las Vegas or Las Vegas does not make the cut. Um, Las Vegas has not been a 100 city for 150 years. Uh, Las Vegas kind of got founded in the 30s. Uh, it's only about a paltry 80 odd years ago, and then it wasn't a 100 top city. Vegas didn't crack the top 100 until about the 60s, maybe the 70s. So it's been 30, 40 years. That's all. Three or four censuses, that's all. So we've got to wait a while. Uh, Sylvia, uh, Boston, we've got already, Sylvia. Tracy Dunlop, Philly, we did it. Brittany Lockwood, New Orleans. New Orleans. The city of New Orleans, 21 times New Orleans has cracked the census as a top 100 city from 1810 to 2010, 200 years in a row. Number three, it once reached the third largest city in the United States at one time. Those are the early days. With all those paddle steamers and all that shipping, that's how you got product into the into the heart of America, up the Mississippi. New Orleans was once a number three largest city in the United States. And Jordan, Washington, D.C., the swamp. What about the swamp? Yes, sir. The swamp, 22 times in the top 10 uh, from 1800 to 2010. Number nine, it reached once in, num in large city. It's right in the top 10 right now. One of the biggest cities in the U.S. Tracy has Boston. Tracy also came with Richmond. We've done them. Brittany Lockwood, Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. Um, 19 times Nashville has counted as a top 100 city, 1830 to 2010, uh, once reaching 25th largest city in America. I think that's kind of where it is right now. Uh, Smashville, if you're a hockey fan. 
Uh, Robert Brandt, how about Detroit? They make cars in Detroit. Lots of people live in Detroit. Have they been living there long enough to make the list? Detroit, Michigan, 18 times has been a top 100 city from 1840 until 2010. Uh, once reached the fourth largest city in the United States of America. Detroit was once number four. I don't think Detroit's a top 10 or a 15 city anymore. So many people have left Detroit. Isn't that something? 18 times. Very good. Savannah, Georgia. Brittany Lockwood is looking at Savannah. Bruce, can you find Savannah? I can find Savannah 16 times. Savannah was a 100 city 16 times in a row from uh, from uh, the year 1800 until 1960. That was the last time that Savannah was a top 100 city in the United States, once reached 18th. So here's a city that once was the 18th largest city in America. Today is not in the top 100. Savannah, Georgia dropped out of the top 100 in 1960. I love this quiz. I love this one. Uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Blaine is wondering about Phoenix. I've got bad news for you about Phoenix. It's such a new place. Phoenix uh, probably became a top 100 city in about the 40s or the 50s. Um, and so it hasn't been around long enough because prior to the 1940s, no air conditioning. No way would people live in droves in Phoenix. Uh, Philadelphia, we have Tom. Peter Heckema, LA, we've done. Uh, and Jordan, Michigan, the city of Michigan. I'm going for Sorry, Ann, can't help you there. Uh, Wes Morrison, St. Louis, Missouri, the city of St. Louis, Missouri. 19 times uh, St. Louis has been a top 100 city from 1830 until 2010. Once it was the fourth largest city in America. Not today. New St. Louis has backed off big time. But yep, at one time on the mighty Mississippi with Nor New Orleans feeding all those steamships coming up with all that cargo and people. St. Louis was a number four city in America at one time. Wow. Yes, uh, Tracy has Los Angeles. Uh, doesn't count. New Orleans, we've done. Phoenix, we've done. Philadelphia, we've done. Pittsburgh, Tracy Dunlop. Pittsburgh, home of the Steelers. Jennifer's favorite football team, the Steelers, 21 times. Pittsburgh has been a top 100 city for 21 cents. Uh, 1810 until 2010. 18 times. Um, or 21 times, excuse me. Uh, Pittsburgh was once the eighth largest city in the United States of America. Once a number eight. It's not, not I don't know if it's number, top, number 20 anymore, but it was once number eight. Steel, steel and coal mining. Lots of folks live in Pittsburgh compared to the rest of the country. Richmond, Virginia, we've done. Dallas, Robert Brent is thinking, talking and shooting Dallas here. How are we looking for Dallas? Does Dallas make the list? As a city to be in the top 100 census counts, no, not 150 years consecutively. No, Dallas is uh, probably in the close to 80 to 100 years being a one top 100 city, but not 150. Uh, Sylvia had Dallas too. Uh, Peter Heckema, Sand Devil, Sa Sand Devil, maybe San Diego. Are you thinking? Are you thinking? I'm thinking you're thinking San Diego. Um, Let's take a look at San Diego. Uh, San Diego, um, looking here. I'm looking, babies. Um, nope, San Diego is not on the list. Not big enough, long enough. Uh, Brittany, Boston, we've already done it. Dallas, we tried. Houston, Robert Brandt. What about Houston, Bruce? That city was a lot bigger than Dallas, a lot earlier than Dallas ever was. Is Houston on this list of being in the top 100 U.S. census at least 150 years? The answer is. No, it's not. It has not been big enough, long enough. Robert Brandt, D.C., we've got it. Brittany, Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore is right up here. Number 20, It has 23 times been a top 100 city. Baltimore from 1790 to 2010, just like New York City. Baltimore at one time was the second largest city in America. It was once number two. It's probably now kind of hanging on to number 10. That's Baltimore. Uh, Detroit, we did. Detroit, we did. San Francisco, Debbie Manuel. Yes. San Francisco, uh, San Francisco, I believe is in the list. I just have to find it here. I've seen it. Here it is. 16 times San Francisco has been a top 100 city in the United States starting in 1860 until 2010. San Francisco has been a top 100 city at one time, eighth largest in America. I think that's now uh, kind of like now eighth largest in America, still growing. 
Brittany had Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. No, it has not managed to be in the top 100 for 150 years. It may have been in the top 100 at one time, but it didn't hang in there for 150 consecutive years, and it's not on this list. Charleston, I believe South Carolina, is from Blaine. Charleston, is Charleston on this list, Bruce, on this list, on the list, Charleston, 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 Charleston is not on the list, not in the top 100 for 150 years or more. No, Chicago, we've done. Atlanta, we've done. Providence, Rhode Island. Providence, Rhode Island. I'm looking for Providence. It has a ring to it. This has a ring to it. I did write it down. Providence, Rhode Island. 20 censuses in a row for 200 years. From 1790 till 1980, Providence was a top 100 city. At one time, Providence, Rhode Island was the ninth largest city in America. It's not in the top 100 anymore. Nope. Sorry, Rhode Island. Uh, Providence has been slipping, but it's a beautiful place nonetheless. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, Seattle. What about Seattle, Bruce? Uh, up in Washington State, uh, has Seattle been big enough, long enough to count as a top uh, surveyor here on the census? The answer is no, not Seattle either. Charlotte, we just did. Baltimore, we've done. Fargo, no. Minneapolis, uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Has Minneapolis St. Paul been in the uh, in the uh, census uh, enough times? No, not Minneapolis St. Paul. Albany, New York. Blaine. Albany. I know Albany was a, definitely a top 100 city at one time. Here we are, 18 times. Albany for 180 years was in the top 100 from 1790 until 1960. After 1960, Albany dropped out of the top 100 at one time. In Albany's history, it was the ninth largest city in America. Now, not even the top 100. Capital of New York State. How about that? Uh, Tracy Dunlap, Miami, Florida. What about Miami, Bruce? Uh, has Miami been big enough, long enough to count in this survey? The answer is nope, it is not. Uh, Miami, for 150 years, has not been a top 100 city. Orlando, not even a chance. Well, Disney basically created that town, uh, more or less, after 1969-70. Uh, Tampa, Robert Brandt this morning about Tampa. Tampa, Florida, been around a little longer than Miami in size and importance there. Uh, but Tampa, even Tampa, does not register in a, in a census 150 years straight. No. Uh, Blaine, Cincinnati, Ohio. WKRP in Cincinnati, 21 times, 210 consecutive years. Cincinnati has been a top 100 city. Started in 1790, uh, uh, sorry, started in 1810, excuse me, until 2010. One time, Cincinnati was once the sixth largest city in the United States of America. Today, Cincinnati's got to be in the 30s. Uh, it's being passed by a lot of cities. Jacksonville, Florida. Tracy Dunlap. What about Jacksonville, Bruce? That is an important shipping center. Uh, literally, uh, Florida's largest city right now. Not on the list. Not for 150 years. It was not in the top 100. Minnesota, that's a state. And Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn and New York merged together. Uh, and so Brooklyn on its own did not exist for 150 years. Uh, but Brooklyn is included in New York's numbers. Peter Heckham at Wilmington, Delaware. Wilmington, Delaware is the guess here. Let's take a look for Wilmington, Delaware. I'm looking, I'm a looking, I'm a looking. Now, Wilmington, not showing, not for 150 years straight did Wilmington become a 100 type person, a large city. West Morrison, Sacramento, no, sir. Uh, Sacramento does not cut it. Too new of a place uh, to be around for 150 plus years in the top 100 cities. Brittany Lockwood, Minneapolis, Minneapolis, I'm looking, and I am not seeing, no, Minneapolis, we've tried it, and it is not on the list, nope, uh, Cleveland, Paul Wilgus, Cleveland, Ohio, I'm um, looking, looking, look, 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 and yeah, Cleveland, 18 times in the top 100, 1840 until 2010, at one time, Cleveland was number five, the fifth largest city in the United States was Cleveland, Ohio. Great Lakes traffic, railroads, major uh, tri shipping hub, but not number five anymore. But yep, 18, 8, 180 straight years, one, a top 100 city. 
Gaylene, New York, we've done it. And Jordan, Detroit, we've done it. Tracy Dunlop, Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City. Oh, here I come. Kansas City. I'm going to Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. I'm looking. I'm looking for Kansas City. Yes, 150 years, 15 straight censuses from 1870 to 2010. And at one time, Kansas City was the 19th largest city in America. It's kind of in that neighborhood right now. St. Louis, we've done. Minneapolis, we've tried it. Harrisburg, PA. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. One of those original cities from way back in the early days. Harrisburg, PA. No, it couldn't could not last 150 years in the top 100. I'm sure it was a 100 top 100 city for many years, but not for 150 or more. No. Uh Peter Heckema, Houston, we've done it. Orlando, we've done it. Buffalo, Blaine is thinking Buffalo, New York. What about it, Bruce? Is Buffalo, New York in there? Yeah, 190 years. Buffalo has been a top 100 city in America. 1830 until 2010 once was the eighth largest city in the United States. I think Buffalo today is around 50, but it's still a top 100 town. St. Louis, we've done. Hartford, Connecticut is another one. Yeah, Hartford. In the 190 years, Hartford was a top 100 city from 1790 until 1970. And guess what? After 1970, Hartford is not a top 100 city. Hartford was once 23rd largest in the Americas in the United States. Hartford now probably 110, 120, maybe 150 largest city in America. Not growing like it used to. It's a tired place, but pretty, pretty. I uh, love Hartford. Um, Tracy, Dallas, we've done it. Peter, Dallas, we've done it. Blaine, Cleveland, we've done it. Columbia, uh, Brittany Lockwood. Um, Columbia is really not the place, uh, but I think I know which one you're talking about. Uh, Nina Frank, Washington, we've done Washington. Tracy has Columbus, and that's who I think Brittany was thinking about. Columbus, Ohio. Is Columbus, Ohio on this list as a top 100 city in the United States of America? Yes, 180 years. Columbus, Ohio has been a top 100 from 1840 till 2010. At one time, the 15th largest city in the United States. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in that neighborhood. Uh, maybe it's 20th right now, but yeah, it's still in there. Austin, Texas. And Jordan is thinking Austin, Texas. I don't think so. Um, I think Austin is so new and has exploded so quickly in population that Austin is a top 100 city. Uh, it's probably a top 20, but uh, only in the last 40 years. Uh, Austin, not for the last 150 years, has not been a top 100 city. It's not on this list. Brittany Lockwood, Honolulu. Honolulu in Hawaii. No, Honolulu itself, not on the list. That would take us back 150 years, back to 1870. Honolulu in 1870 was not a top uh, 100 plus. In 1870, Honolulu was not an American city. It was on an island in the Pacific, not part of the United States of America as a state. So can't count that. Uh, Nina Frank, Miami, no. San Diego, no. Brittany Lockwood, Columbus, we got it. Uh, Tom Henry, Charlotte, North Dakota, uh, North Carolina, I'm sorry. Charlotte, we did, I believe. I think we did Charlotte, uh, triple checking here. Uh, I've got a short, great short memory. Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. Oh, where is it? Oh, come on. We must have done it. Or it isn't there. Charlotte, Charlotte. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. No, it's not on the list. It's not on the list. Unbelievable. Charlotte on the list. Pittsburgh, we did. St. Louis, we did. Bakersfield for the Lucas family. Exactly. Uh, hi, Lucas family. But sorry, Bakersfield is not in this answer. Denver, Colorado. Is Denver, Colorado on this list? Has Denver been big enough, long enough to count in the census? The answer is no. Uh, Denver is not large enough to be in the survey uh, at this time. Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 17 times, 170 years from 1850 to 2010. Milwaukee once reached 11th largest city in the U.S. It's probably in the top 15 right now. Way to go, Milwaukee. Tucson, Arizona, not on the list. Gaylene, San Francisco, we did it. San Jose from Blaine, not on the list. San Diego, no. Baltimore, we did. El Paso, Texas, another guest from a city. Been around a while, but is El Paso, has El Paso been in this survey? Uh, the answer is no, not El Paso. San Antonio, there's another town, big town now. It's definitely a top 100. San Antonio is probably top 25. 
but San Antonio has not been big enough, long enough to count at least 150 years. Milwaukee, we've done. Indianapolis. Indianapolis is on the list. Indianapolis for 170 years has been a top 100 population city, 1850 to 2010. Once reaching 11th largest in the U.S. It wouldn't be that far off right now. That might be pretty accurate. Trenton, New Jersey. Uh, no, Trenton did not last 150 years in the census. Newark, New Jersey. Newark. Yeah, what about Newark? Yes, 190 years Newark has been a top 100 city. Newark from 1830 to 2010. Uh, one time the 11th largest city in the United States. Probably more like the 20th, 25th largest now. But it's still a top 100 spot. Yes, it is. Sylvia, Brittany is on fire tonight. Go, Brittany. Uh, Tom Henry, Arlington, Virginia. Arlington, Virginia. Uh, it's certainly got the pedigree. It's got the history. It's old enough. Does Arlington, Virginia rank? No, it does not. It has not been for 15 censuses in a row or more. No. Brittany Lockwood is saying thank you. Birmingham, Alabama. Tracy Dunlop is thinking about Birmingham. Birmingham. No, Birmingham does not rank in the top uh, run here. Louisville, Kentucky. Here's a guess from Blaine. That sounds like a good guess to me. Louisville, Kentucky. What about it? Is Louisville a city that counts? Yes, it is. 200 years in a row, 20 censuses, 1820 to 2010. Louisville at one time was the 12th largest city in the United States. It's not 12th largest now, probably in the 60s, but it was one time 12th largest. How about that? Louisville, Memphis, Tennessee from Blaine. Memphis, uh, Memphis, Memphis, Memphis. Um, 17 times, 170 years in a row. Memphis from 1850 to 2010. 14th was the highest it ever reached. 14th largest. Memphis is probably in the 30s right now, but uh, great town. How about that? Pittsburgh, we've done. Minneapolis, we've tried again and again and again. DGA, DNG Sports. Hi, everybody. Just got home. Bakers failed. Uh, nice try, guys, but not today. Tracy Dunlop, Davenport. What about Davenport? I'm looking for Davenport. Did we have Davenport in this survey anywhere? No, Davenport is not on this uh, uh, trivia question today. Davenport did not make it. Sorry to say. All right. Tulsa, Oklahoma. I don't think so. <coughs> um, quick look here. No, not Tulsa. Uh, I enjoyed it. Awesome, Brittany. Brittany Lockwood, I think I had to do something on this topic for a college class. How about that? Denver, no. Minneapolis, no. Brittany Lockwood, I'm not cheating as I do not have anything printed out. Charlotte, no. Jacksonville, no. Salt Lake City, ooh, just Salt Lake City. Has Salt Lake City made the census enough times? No, it has not made 15, 150 years. No, not Salt Lake City. Uh, Sylvia, uh, Brittany, I don't think you are cheating. Uh, Brittany, Oklahoma. What about Oklahoma City? Oklahoma City. I'm looking for Oklahoma City. Uh, let me look through here. No, Oklahoma City is not on the list yet. Cool Jazz, Louisville, we've done it. Providence, we've done it. Kansas City, we've done it. Joplin, no. Uh, Norfolk, Virginia, yeah. Norfolk, Virginia, 23 times in a row every census ever taken. Norfolk, Virginia has made the list from 1790 to 2010 at one time. Norfolk was the 10th largest city in the United States. I don't know if it's in the top 50 anymore, but it's still hanging in there. Norfolk, Virginia. That's a good one. Uh, Nina, I think, has Seattle going here. We've we tried it. Lane, Indianapolis, we've done it. Charlotte, Cat, we've done it. Uh, cool Jazz, Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson, Mississippi. I'm looking for Jackson, Mississippi. Um, no, Jackson, Mississippi is not there. And by the way, folks, we are getting close to the end of this crew, this cruise, end of this quiz. <laughs> uh, how many do I need? I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I need 12. We've done about 40. I need about 12 more. You guys are doing great. Uh, Dover, Delaware. These are great guesses. I love these guesses, but no, Dover does not cut it. Uh, Connecticut, that's a state. Brittany Lockwood, Cleveland, we've done it. Syracuse, New York, oh, that's a good guess. Syracuse, New York, not on the list, but you're in the right neighborhood for another city that is on this list, but not Syracuse. Monterey, no. Memphis, we've done it. Sacramento, we've done it. Buffalo, we've done it. Columbus, we've done it. Austin, we've done it. Jackson Hole, no go. Oklahoma, we've tried it. Tulsa, we've tried it. 
uh, St. Augustine, uh, St. Augustine, uh, the first city inhabited in North America in the United States, but never a top 100 for 50, 150 straight years. No, would have been a top 100 probably by 1790, I guess, but I'm not even sure even then. d and Explorers, Buffalo, home of Derek, favorite football team, Buffalo Bills. Oh, Derek is uh, loving the Bills. Uh, we've done Buffalo already. Salem in um, in Massachusetts, I believe, is the guest. No, Matt, Salem did not hang on to a top 100 long enough to make it on this list. Shreveport, Louisiana, if I can recall. Shreveport is Louisiana. It is not a city on this list either. Uh, and Jordan, hey, D&G. Robert Brandt, Jersey City, New Jersey. No, sir, it didn't make it either. Um, let's see here. Brittany Lockwood, Wichita. What about Wichita, Kansas? Wichita, I love these city names. No, Wichita would be a good guess, though but not a top 100 long enough to make it. Portland, no, too new. Portland is too new. Whether it's Portland, Maryland, or Portland, Oregon, no go either way, sorry to say. I'll start giving you hints if you need them. Boston is a guest. Newark is a guest. We've done these. Washington, we got Des Moines, Iowa, no. Galveston, Texas, no. Des Moines, no. Stamford, Connecticut, good guess, but no. I love that answer. Well done. You guys are really thinking New Orleans, no. El Paso, no. Uh, Valen, hi, Bruce and all. Hi, Valen. Trenton, no. Um, Des Moines, no. Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio? Dayton, yes. Dayton, Ohio, 17 censuses in a row, 170 years from 1830 until 1990. And uh, it got to 40th at one time, but Dayton, Ohio is no longer a 100 city, top 100. But it was for 170 years. And then they moved out west. Newark, we've done. Portland, we've tried. Plano, no go. Augusta, no. Anchorage, no. Zanesville, Ohio. I'm going to adopt this as my, my Tokyo. <laughs> not Zanesville. Not going to help you. Uh, Fairbanks, no. Raleigh. Blaine is asking about Raleigh. I believe that's North Carolina. Um, Raleigh, uh, no. Raleigh is not on there. Would have been a top 100 for many years, but not, not 150 of them. Indianapolis, no. What population is number 100 now? I don't know offhand. Uh, Brittany Toledo. Oh, Toledo is a good answer. 160 years. Toledo was a top 100 city from 1860 until 2010. Right now, it's a top 100. It once reached 26. It's not near 26 now. Still hanging in on the top 100 as of 2010. Jim from Evans, Georgia. Evening, Bruce. Hey, Jim, how you doing from Evans, Georgia? We're trying to guess cities in the United States that have been at least a top 100 ranked city, according to the census, for 15 uh, censuses in a row, 150 years straight, solidly, without a break or more. And we're running out of towns because we're coming to the end of this quiz. It's been a doozy. Uh, D&G is trying Philadelphia. We've done it. Princeton. No, it's not Princeton. New Jersey. That's a state. Atlantic City. Nope, not working. Uh, Maine. No, no, that's uh, no Maine. No, M-A-I-N is Maine. That's a word. M-A-I-N-E is a state. Wouldn't help you. Brittany Lockwood, Montgomery, uh, Montgomery, Alabama. Um, not on the list either. Nope. Um, who else we got? Mobile, Alabama. Mobile. Um, I think. Oh, no, no. Wait, let me see. Uh, Mobile. Mobile. Mobile, Mobile, Mobile. Uh, no, Mobile, Alabama has not been on this survey. Didn't didn't hang on to be a top 100 long enough. It was a top 100 many years ago, but not for 150 straight or more. Fresno, too new. Tuscaloosa, love that name. No, Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington, the uh, the rival city of Louisville. The two cities at one time were trying to brag which one was bigger. <coughs> Excuse me. Lexington has not been able to hang on to the top 100 uh, long enough. Uh, Macon, Georgia, no. Vicky is here. Hi, traveling with Bruce. Hi, all. Hi, Vicky. Hi, uh, Jim from Evans, Augusta, Georgia. No, sir, it did not make the cut. Uh, hasn't been a big city long enough. Blaine, uh, Jackson, Mississippi, no. Boston from Cheryl. We did Boston earlier. L.A. never made it. Debbie had St. Louis. We've done that already. Boca Raton, no. Naval City from Cat, no. Portland, Maine, no. Uh, West Morrison, Natch Natchez, um, uh, MS, Natchez, no, sorry, uh, Natchez didn't make it. Rochester, cool jazz. Rochester, New York, yes, sir. Rochester is in there. Rochester, let me just triple check. Where is it? Where is it, Bruce? Where is it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stand, stand, stand by, stand by, stand by, stand by. I'm sure it's in here. Just stand by. Yeah, here it is. 190 consecutive years. Rochester has been a top 100 city from 1830 till 2010, right up to now. At one time, Rochester was the 18th largest city in America. 
Uh, it's probably hanging around 70 or 80 or something like that. It's getting down there, but it's hanging in. Uh, very good. Folks are coming to the Rochester like crazy. Bur uh, Bing Bingham or, or Bingham in New York. No. Uh, Nat Nat Natchester. I have no idea what that one is. Tracy Dunlop, Hartford. We did it. Little Rock. Little Rock, Arkansas. Sylvia Swan. Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, it's not been a top 100 city long enough to break 50, 150 years in a row. No. Uh, Fargo. No. San Jose. No. Greenville. No. Lafayette. A good guess. No. Albuquerque. Another good one. No. Selma. No. Oh, my goodness. I know these off by heart practically. Gainesville. No. Virginia Beach, Virginia. Virginia Beach, Virginia. No. Not on the list either. Corpus Christi, Texas. No. Irving. No. Or Irvine, Texas. Rocky Mount. No. St. Petersburg and Chesapeake. No. I got to start giving you hint, uh, clues, folks. Let's take a look at what we still need. Um, uh, we are coming down to the bottom half. I need a city in Connecticut. Give me a city in Connecticut that's been in the census 180 years in a row. Uh, let's see. How about another city? Uh, oh, so I owe someone an apology. Uh, I just saw a, a city that someone has guessed. I take it back. Uh, who was it that gave me this guess? I'm going to find that person. I owe them an apology. Uh, uh, let me think a minute here. No, no, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I thought it was somebody. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, uh, but I thought for sure someone had guessed this. I just saw it. Uh, let me just go back, go back, go back. Uh, here it is, Robert Brent, Jersey City, New Jersey. You are correct, sir. Jersey City, New Jersey, 170 years in a row, 17 census in a row. From 1860 to 2010, 17th was the highest at one time. You said Jersey City. I said no. You are right. I apologize. Thank you very much for that one. Um, let's see. We've got Bridgeport, Connecticut being guessed right now. It's not Bridgeport. Hartford, Connecticut. No, New Haven. Yeah, New Haven, Connecticut. 180 years in a row. New Haven was a top 100 city from uh, 1790 at the very beginning until 1960. It lasted that long. Once New Haven was the 17th largest city in the United States. Now, not even in the top 100 anymore. Stamford, Connecticut, New Haven, Greenwich, uh, all these guesses. All right, next hint. Next hint. Um, I believe it is the, uh, it's, a, it's a standalone city. Uh, it's a twin, it's part of the Twin Cities uh, in America. This city is one of two cities that is referred to as the Twin Cities. Which one am I talking about? It's been in the census tour for 16 censuses in a row, 160 years. Uh, what city am I talking about? Um, I'm looking at another one here. I'm wondering if I made another error, but I don't think I have. I think I'm okay. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, all right. I'm looking for a city in, uh, in, uh, Massachusetts. Give me a city in Massachusetts. Uh, guesses are coming in. St. Paul. That is correct. Everyone got St. Paul. Uh, that is correct. St. Paul, uh, 160 years in a row from 1860 until 2010, 23rd was the highest rank it ever had. How about that? Kansas city has been guessed already. Uh, Minneapolis, we have St. Paul. We have, okay. I need a city in, in, uh, in Massachusetts. I think I need, um, Two in Massachusetts. I need a city in Nebraska. I need a city in Pennsylvania, and I need a city in Indiana. Uh, so we're so we're staying sort of east-ish or Midwest, aren't we? Um, here's some guesses here: Dorchester, Massachusetts, Springfield. Yes, Springfield, Massachusetts. 150 years in the top 100. Um, 1830 until 1970. Uh, at one time, Springfield, Massachusetts, 35th largest in the country. Now not in the top 100 anymore. Uh, let's see here. Dorchester, Worcester, Worcester. Uh, Worcester is 160 years in a row. Worcester, Massachusetts, uh, 1830 until 1980. Uh, at one time, the 28th largest city. Uh, Omaha, Nebraska, yes. 150 years in the top 100. Omaha from 1870 till right now, 2010. Omaha, 21st largest. I think that's right now. Omaha is still growing. Worcester, Lynn, Massachusetts, Hershey, Pennsylvania, Reading, 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 Pennsylvania is the one I'm looking for. 150 years. It was in the top 100 from 1810 until 1950. And after 1950, it was all over. 
Uh, at one time, Reading was 36th largest city in the United States, and it moved west after that. How about that? 1950, hung on. Uh, Braintree, uh, Fall River, uh, Gary, Indiana. Uh, no, I'm looking for one city in Indiana. It's not Gary. Uh, it's two words. First word is fort. Ah, what would that be? Um, I'm looking for another city. First word, new, and it's not New York. I'm looking for uh, what is the city that starts with the word new? It's not New Haven. What is this city I'm looking for starting with the word new? Those are the last two. One starts with the word fort. One starts with the word new. And those are my last two. As far as I can see, I don't have any more. This quiz, you guys were fantastic at this one. You really nailed it. Uh, here we go. We're looking for answers coming in for the last two guesses. Here we go. We've got Salem, Worcester, Philadelphia, York, Omaha, Des Moines, Erie, Harrisburg, Fort Wayne, Scranton, Reading, PA, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, Allentown, Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne it is. Uh, 150 years. Fort Wayne has been the top 10 city. 1870 to now, 2010. Uh, 70th largest, might be 70th now, I don't know. Maybe it was larger at one time. New London, no. New Holland, no. I'm looking for one city with the word new in the front. What is it? One city with the word new. Uh, it is not New Holland. It is not New London. It is not uh, New Haven. It's not New York. Not Newark, because that's one word. Uh, what am I looking for? This city has been a top 100 city uh, 160 years. It was a top 100 city. And uh, Wilga says, Paul is laughing out loud. D and G, they're laughing out loud. Having a good old time. What is this city? Uh, one to go. Uh, new what? And Jordan, sorry about that. I was FaceTime my son. I have three devices going at the same time. <laughs> oh, you're a busy girl. I'll tell you that. A uh, new town. No. Jersey. No. I'm looking for a new. Bedford. I'm looking for New Bedford. New Bedford, 160 consecutive years, was a top 100 city, once reaching 24th largest from 1800 until 1950. And it's been out of the top 100 ever since. There you go, guys. You've done very well. We're running out of quizzes. I've got a top 10 quickie for you. Tell me the 10 countries that make the most salt, table salt. Who makes the fast, the most, the most table salt? This is a fast quiz. Top 10 city uh country i'm sorry top 10 countries that make the most salt in the world what are they here we go we'll find out right now how quick we can get this one out of the way salt production here we go china robert grant number one china uh usa peter that's number two vatican doesn't count uh china us india robert grant is india number three is india greece galen is thinking about greece not in the top 10. uh israel not in the top 10. Uh, USA, we have. China, we have. Italy, Italy, Italy. No, not in the top 10. Russia, another guest. No, not in the top 10. España, España, Spain. No, not in the top 10. Hello, Debbie, multitasking guy, I'm Anna, Anna Singh. Pakistan, Peter Hekema, Pakistan. No, not Pakistan. USA, we have. Italy, we've done. USA, Germany. Blaine is thinking Germany. Number five or four is Germany. Very good. Uh, Morton, Morton Salt, Australia, and Jordan. Yes, number six. You guys are getting them in order. Turkey, Brittany, uh, no. Uh, Canada is uh, one over. Uh, number seven, we have a gap finally. Canada's on the list. Uh, France from Peter Heckema, no. Uh, New Zealand and Australia, no and no. Uh, Creston, no. Egypt and Chile, uh, no. Uh, Chile, number 10, yes. Egypt, no. Tokyo. Australia, the ocean, Poland, no, no. <laughs> we have three left. Three to go. What countries make the most salt? Mexico is another one. Thank you. That's number eight. I've got two left. I got two left. One in South America, one in Europe. That's it. Uh, Portugal, uh, Mexico, Mexico, Spain, Mexico. No, 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 no. One in Europe, one in South America. Norway, no. India, no. Portugal, no. Ah, the one in Europe is on an island. Oh, big hint there. Uh, South America, the largest city, the largest country in South America. Brazil, Brittany, you got it. Brazil, thank you, Brittany. Uh, what uh, European country am I looking at? It's on an island. What country is it? Uh, everyone's coming with Brazil right now. UK, thank you, Tom. You got it. There it is. Here's the answers. China, USA, India, Germany, Australia, Brazil, Canada, Mexico, UK, Chile. Top 10 salt producers in the world. How about that? All right, one more quiz, and then we'll go join. Uh, we'll go join uh, 
uh, our friends over at Lalito Loca. Uh, U.S. cities with the most foreign-born population. Tell me in the United States what cities have the highest numbers of foreign-born people living in it. And I'll tell you how many they are. I'm looking for 16 cities in this case in the United States, the 16 cities with the highest number of foreign-born people living in their town. Uh, Robert Brandt, New York. Yep, number one. 5.8 million people living in America in the United States, sorry, 5.8 million people living in New York City are not born in the United States. 5.8 million. Think about that number. It is humongous. It's what makes New York work. <laughs> if they weren't there, New York would shut down. Uh, Robert Brandt, Los Angeles, uh, number two city, 4.4 million. Mexico, of course, that uh, makes LA run. Peter Heckema, Tampa. What about Tampa, Bruce? Is Tampa on the top 16? Nope, it's not. Uh, Miami, Paul Wilgus, yeah, number three city in the United States, 2.3 million living in Miami, not born in the USA. Think Cuba, think Mexico, think Brazil, think, think Venezuela, Canada, you bet. All kinds of people from all over the place come to Miami. Lane had LA, Whitney, uh, Miami, uh, D&G, uh, San Francisco. Number six city, 1.4 million people in Frisco. Gaylene had LA, we've done it. Miami, we got Peter. Uh, Frisco, we've done. Chicago, Robert Brandt, yeah, 1.7 million in Chicago. It's a big bunch of people there from somewhere else. Paul had LA. Tom Henry had Detroit. I'm going to say Detroit. Uh, I'm going to give him Detroit. But Detroit, my friend, is not in the top 16. No, sir. Not in the top 16. Uh, they're not moving to Detroit. Uh, New Orleans, Brittany Lockwood. What about New Orleans? Uh, nope, not in the list. Uh, Miami, we did. D.C., Robert Brandt, Washington, D.C. The Swamp, 1.3 million live in D.C. that are not born in America. Without them, D.C. would shut down. Offices wouldn't get cleaned. Hedges wouldn't get trimmed. Can you imagine D.C. without 1.3 million foreigners helping out? Of course, there's a lot of foreigners in D.C. from around the world with all the governments and the embassies, obviously. But I would think that's only a few hundred thousand. But nonetheless, Washington, the swamp, has got a bunch of them. Peter had New York, Robert, Miami. A Gaylene is thinking about Seattle in Washington State. Uh, yeah, number 15 on the list, 630,000 in Seattle, probably because of the software, the computer trade, and Boeing, all the skills people. You bet. Uh, Debbie had LA. Tom Henry had Detroit. Robert Brandt, San Diego, or Dan Diego. Uh, yeah, Dan Diego, 11th, 757,000. Brittany, Baton Rouge, no. Sylvia Swan, Charlotte. Charlotte, no, not Charlotte. Um, Washington from Tom. Uh, Tucson, no. Brittany Lockwood, Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona, number 14 on the list, 652,000. I thought there would be more than that, but it is 652. Sylvia, San Francisco, we've got right here. Yes, we've done San Francisco. Cool jazz, melting pot for sure. New York, absolutely. Debbie had New York. Debbie had Seattle. Cool Jazz, Little Cuba. Uh, Robert Brandt, Honolulu. No. Uh, Blaine, San Francisco. We did a Gaylene, San Diego. San Diego, we just did. We call it Dan Diego. Uh, and Jordan, Hawaii. Sorry. Blaine, Boston. The city of Boston. Yep. Number 10. 832,000 people live in Boston. Not born in the United States of America. It keeps Boston going, too. I love New York with the diversity, says Sylvia. Peter Heckema, Dallas. Dallas, number eight on the list. 1.2 million in Dallas. Big chunk of workload there. Uh, Peter Heckema, Chicago, we've done it. Uh, Houston, cool jazz. Fifth largest, 1.5 million in Houston. You betcha, Houston would be dead without 1.5 million uh, immigrants helping that place work itself out. Absolutely, Houston, great town. Phoenix, we have. Dallas, we have. Houston, we have. San Antonio from Blaine. San Antonio, uh, not on the list. I'm looking for two cities, only two to go. Sorry, three, four. Uh, I'll get it. There's four to go, but it's not San Antonio. San Diego, we did. Jacksonville, no. San Antonio, no. All cruise lines. Uh, Seattle, Austin, and Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta, 12th at 751,000 people. Um, I'm looking for a couple more big cities here. Boston, no. Um, Atlanta, we've done already. Uh, Costco, damn. <laughs> Charlotte, Miami, Houston, Fort Worth, El Paso. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm looking for a city in uh, California. I'm looking for another city in California. I'm looking for a city in Pennsylvania of all places. And we're done on this quiz. This quiz. Uh, El Paso, Orlando, Austin, Phoenix, Phoenix, Dallas, Honolulu, Philadelphia. Yeah, Philadelphia, 620,000 from outside the U.S. and Philly. I'm looking for two California cities now in California. I need two cities. 
Uh, what do we got here? We got Seattle. No, we got Sacramento. No, Philadelphia just came in. Two cities in, in California. What are they? Uh, Philadelphia is the next guess. We're waiting for the California guesses to come in. We have LA. We have San Francisco. We have San Diego. Uh, what other cities? Uh, Sacramento is definitely not one of them. What other cities in California? High number of immigrants uh, living in these towns. Um, here we go. Uh, Frisco was the last guess I see. Any more guesses coming in? And we'll find out. Oakland, not Oakland. No. Um, la, 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 la. Near Oakland, though. Kind of near Oakland. Near ish. San Jose. There it is. San Jose, 736,000. I got one city left. This is actually a conglomeration of cities. It's not Bakersfield. I see that. It's a conglomeration of cities. Uh, and if you guess any one of these cities, I'll give it to you. Um, let's see if any of you can get this city. Hollywood, Bakersfield. No, no. <laughs> uh, we're talking um, uh, how many? 974,000 immigrants live in this area. Uh, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an overall city in the Los Angeles area. Here's LA. Riverside. There it is. Thank you. Riverside, Ontario. Uh, and uh, Rancho Cucamonga, that whole region there, 974,000 non American born. Chico from Tom Henry, no. Long Beach, no. We're done. It was New York, LA, Miami, Chicago, Houston, San Fran, Washington, Dallas, Riverside, Boston, San Diego, Atlanta, San Jose, Phoenix, Seattle, and Philadelphia made up the list. How about that? I'm going to call that a night for trivia tonight. Uh, I'm off tomorrow. I'm traveling to Calgary tomorrow, folks. Going to be in Calgary for about nine days. Uh, I'll be off the air tomorrow, but I'll be on the air Thursday at five and at eight. I'll be back on Thursday. I should be on Friday as well, uh, and I think I'm on Saturday as well. I'll keep you posted as I know. So I'll see you Thursday for two shows, five and eight trivia Thursday night, and we'll take it from there. See you all on the Lido Loca. A lot of us are going to head over to La Lido Loca. Say hi to those guys. Uh, they always say hi to us, and I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. Thank you for the thumbs ups today. Uh, 16 today on this show. Uh, if you can give me one on the way out the door, even better. And I will see you guys on Thursday, day after tomorrow, from Calgary. Stay safe, stay well, and we'll talk to you real soon. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce, August 14th, 18, saying good night from Creston. We'll talk to you in a couple of days. Bye for now.